Hey guys, Arcanian here, and we're looking at COGS. Yeah, I said COGS. This is a puzzle game made by Crazy8 Studios. Uh, link in the description to the Steam page. It is available for Mac, uh, mobile platforms, and PC. And when you see this game, you're going to know why it's available for mobile platforms. It is a straight puzzle game. Something along the lines of those moving, moving tile puzzles. Um that annoy everyone as a child including when you got them in like like um party bags like 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 for birthday parties and you just you looked at it for five seconds and you're like what why the hell am i trying to solve this puzzle for well yeah it's those kinds of puzzles but before i even walk into it let, let, let me uh let me show you this let me show you this first of all these this uh menu is kind of the coolest thing the the graphics the uh well the art style is the coolest thing about the game um you're gonna be sitting here doing puzzles all day um you're gonna want something fun to look at right uh it, it has this steampunk kind of feel to it which is which is good it's good uh yeah we, we're running this thing in low speak uh dog paw i don't know what that means if anyone else can explain to what me to what low speak is, I'm assuming the fact that this doesn't say options, it says options. But uh, yeah, so the game has two two uh, modes: uh, inventor mode or inventor mode, and challenge mode. Uh, inventor mode just means uh, do the levels that are in the game, and challenge mode means to challenge yourself. We'll look at challenge mode right now, just for the hell of it. There is time and moves. Uh, when you play the game, each level you are timed, and you have a set amount of moves you have to do. At the end of every level, you will be rated uh, based on whether you finish the level or not, the amount of time it took you to do the level, and and uh, the amount of clicks you did with your mouse. Um, oh, I would also figure. Uh, the amount of times you press the screen if you're using a mobile platform the um yes I am using a mouse for this obviously the the uh, then you're given a gold bronze or uh, silver medal for uh, your time and and the amount of moves we're going to be looking at uh, the uh, inventor mode just because I'm already used to it there are obvious there are quite a bit uh, of uh of uh, uh puzzles um enough enough to to hold you down for a couple of hours maybe not if if uh if you bought this for a mobile something to do on uh, your free time when you're on the train or the bus or you're you know just to pull out of your pocket for a few seconds oh hell yeah this 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 would be really fun including if you're somebody who really likes puzzle games um uh these unlocks, I really don't know how this how this unlock system actually works. I've yet to actually get that close to it. Look, I, I'm making my way down. I'm making my way down. You can see how horrible I'm doing with all these bronze right over here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me. I hope that didn't come out loud. So let's start with the first one, and uh, we'll it'll, it'll, it'll show. I'll show you how uh, how this actually works. So this this is a. Uh, this is our our uh, our playing board right now. Use the right click. Uh, we're going to be doing this on PC. We use the right click to turn the uh, the puzzle around, and we use the left click to move the tiles. Obviously, we're going to be um, for this puzzle uh, connecting the gears to try to get it to this gear over this gold gear over here. Time, and uh, this is the amount of time necessary for the uh, that uh, the designers. Oh no. Yes, this is the amount of time that designers think that I should have for bronze, one minute. Uh, the amount of time that has passed. I did, that is not how you spell time. And the amount of moves that I have made so far. And the amount of time that I should. Uh, the amount of moves that I should be making to, to get the uh, gold. Uh, this button right here will, will is like my hint button. Um, and that's really much it. Right now, I really don't need to be spinning in a three in, in a third dimension, primarily because this puzzle is all on a flat board. But later on, you're going to be seeing that we're going to be doing puzzles like this on cubes and uh, three-dimensional objects. That's when the game actually shines. So let me just solve this puzzle right away. Now, if you're the kind of person who really hates 
these uh these kind of tile puzzles kind of like the one in uh resident evil 4 when you were playing the president's daughter you're really not gonna like this game and i'm really sorry about that but if you're the kind of person who likes these puzzles or you're the kind of person who thinks this is gonna be fun so something you could put that you could do really quickly then this is right up your alley so let me go forward to, let me go to jack in the box jack in the box is something that that really shows off uh what this game is about so see here in jack in the box uh we have a three-dimensional we have a cube basically and we have to move this the function of this gear here over to this uh this uh attorney uh crank here this system this lever so i obviously did that incorrect i did way too many button presses for this first face here but it we please forgive me for my uh my stupidity oh i did it again <laughs> oh I messed it up again. Oh my, oh my lord. There we go. And this one, which is really just a ton of button presses. I do feel that at times my, my mouse clicking um, is slow. Like I would have to click a block more than once for the game to notice that I've clicked it. I'm not sure if it's my own mouse. The fact that it's not the best, the best uh, piece of equipment. It's just a, it's just a five dollar USB mouse I bought at a really crappy store. You know, it's not, it's not a really good high end mouse. Um, or is it the game itself? I'm not, I'm not really certain. So let me, let me go into a, a different platform. So, so I just, I showed you the gears, and and obviously this game is called Cogs, but you don't, you're not just using Cogs or gears. So I'm gonna go to balloons. And we have these uh these uh pipes. Obviously, it's just a different skin. It's just it's not the gear. It's not the gears. It's pipes now. But it it's the it's the same idea. And and it even though it's it's different, it does it just feel different, which is a nice which is a nice thing. Um, if any of you played those old uh, pipe games, um back in like the windows 95 era um this would really bring you back i don't even think i'll be able to do this one i did it once once upon a time uh, a few hours ago oh okay okay i did it that was weird but there you go <laughs> so yeah, like the, 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 those like sewer system games back in the Windows 95, 98 days when the water would flush through the pipes and you have to connect the pipes. This is kind of what it reminds me of, except it's using a tile system and it, it's it's really nice. I, I, I find it really fun. So I'm going to do one more, one that uh one that combines the, the pipes and the wheels together. I don't know which one it is though. Hmm. Which one is it? I really enjoyed that one. If I can remember which one it was. Mm. Your shoe, which is extremely annoying. Two sides. Actually, you know what? I should do shoe just just to annoy you guys and to annoy myself. Um, you has you has to con. I, I guess this is what low. Uh, English is it's just broken language of the internet that's kind of funny I think it's kind of funny that they actually decided you can have English or you can have the broken language of the people of YouTube decide here everyone you get to read what you guys write when you guys write comments on my channel here this is what you guys write this is what I have to decipher you has this di blah blah and the blah blah Dear God, the trike. Okay, this is it. This is it. <laughs> this is horrible. Anyway, we'll go with this one. I like this one. See, it's a combination of pipes and gears. It's very nice. Okay. Plus the art, art style, the steampunk metal and wood. Uh, obviously, the steam and moving objects. The music is playing every couple of seconds when you do not meet the the criteria of the uh, the time. Uh, 
it does make a ding noise. I like to call it the asshole clock because that asshole clock um, will remind you. Watch, when that hits 45 seconds, it's going to go ding and it kind of increases the stress level. It really wants you to know you're fucking up. <laughs> and um, that's that's kind of cool. I like that. So, what we're going to, what are we doing? What are we doing? This has to go. One second. One second. Right here. Uh huh. This is not going to work out well. Hmm. Oh, maybe it will. It's not supposed to go that way, but okay. Hmm. Ha, see? Ha. I'm trying to get steam going into both pipes, which, 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 which makes me think this is the best way to do it. Uh, one second. All right, that works for you, but it doesn't work for the other pipe. Uh, it could work this way. Interesting. Okay. I got it. It was solved. Great. And I gotta get this over here. And it's not going to. In, I'm not going to like the way I have to get it over there. And that's not over there now. Damn it, piping systems! Aye. Wait. Oh, I had it. I had it, but you're in the wrong place now! You see? You see, this is, uh... This is why you don't. This is why you don't. You don't. You don't pay strangers to uh, to do your big jobs. Actually, that that did nothing. That did nothing at all. One second. There we go. It actually sounds like water is spilling out, like the the steam is uh is um the steam is actually like it's 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 just it's building up and the water is spilling out and I kind of like that kind of like that sound effect I appreciate that sound effect really um okay. I am appreciating sound effects. Okay. There we go. We got that. Now we gotta move this one down here. I totally missed the deadline for the time. But I wanted to show you guys this this uh, this level. This is what I get. So you get silence and me thinking extremely hard, which is something I rarely do these days. So, uh, we're all getting a workout. I'm getting a mental one. Uh, you're getting a workout in patience. I don't know if you needed one. Uh, did you? I 
Oh, great. I mean, incredibly complex for no reason at all. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. <laughs> Back to the review. So, what do I think of this game? Oh, I I enjoy. I personally enjoy it myself though. I can I can understand why somebody would not enjoy this game. Not a lot of people out there are the kind of enthusi are very enthusiastic when enthusiast. Not a lot of people like puzzles. I'm having a hell of a puzzly time speaking. Not a lot of people like puzzles. I, I can understand that. Um, not a lot of people are puzzle people. Sudoku is not everyone's friend, if you catch my drift. It, it's just... It depends on... It depends on... There we go, one wheel stud. It depends on what you... What you what you like to do? Some people prefer some people's definition of a game is sh just shooting people. Some people would would prefer would like this game all the time. If you spend most of your life sitting around um, um, traveling from place to place, I I would probably recommend something like this. The music is really nice. It's calming. The sound effects are, are really nice too. Because there's all these clicking noises. You're probably gonna end up falling asleep if you play this a little bit too much because the sound effect in the music and it is uh it is a uh um a challenge um the first levels were not hard but it, it, it obviously gets more and more difficult as time goes by so should i do one more why not why don't we just keep going right i've already given you my opinion i like the game if you don't like puzzles don't get the game it's obvious let's just do one more this is called shh why? Because there's like four bells and they're all ringing at the same time and you gotta shut them the hell up. My bad there, three bells and you gotta shut them the hell up. So let's uh, let's, let's shut them the hell up. Alright, there goes one. Okay. Oh no. There's still one bell here. I think the idea here is to get the uh, the cogs that don't have the the uh, the ability to ring a bell to the outer edges. Oh wow, I missed you entirely. I'm sorry about that. Um, how am I gonna move you out of there? Oh, you're ringing too. Oh my lord. No, shut the hell up. No one loves you. Wait, now you're ringing. I gotta think this through. There we go, I got that. Now for you. Now I gotta get that cog over there, okay. There we go, got it. So just gotta get the cogs to the outer corners and then you're fine. Um, sorry for the silence there while I was thinking. It's a thinking game, which is a good thing. So 
there you go. Cogs. Made by Crazy 8 Studios. Link in the description if you want to go check out the Steam page. It's uh, available for PC. I believe it is for also OS and the mobile platform. So, check it out if you like that puzzle game and that Steam feel. Name's Ark Indian. Peace.